a beautiful day one day and a chilly rainy day the next day such as upstate New York um, since we're not out in the field obviously today uh, I thought about doing a quick video on um, a couple people asked me this question I thought it was a really good question because I had this question not too long ago uh, the question was what kind of camera do I use and um, I used to use let me do this here let's come over to my toolbox here a second first off I know the shop is a mess and it trust me it drives me crazy um, my dad is a wonderful farmer he's a very very smart man um, as far as tools goes and keeping a clean shop you can see over my shoulder and some people have seen over my shoulder uh, that doesn't happen too often I try to do what I can do but there's only so much I can do and it trust me it drives me insane um, I'll give you an example let's go over here to his old toolbox do you want a wrench okay now let's paw through there and let's find what wrench you want or hang on buddy hang on buddy what? or you can come over to my toolbox and it looks like they're all over, but they're all kind of done up by size. So I know I know a ballpark of where the ones I want. Hang on a second. Or how about a socket? You can come over to mine and find exactly with the quarter, three eighths, and the half inch, the two half inch, regular and deep, which one you want. There, I'm then gonna try, yep, and there's, there's my metrics that you, because this little guy gets in there I had them all laid out nice. It started like this and it ended up like this. And you see why. There's the culprit. But anyway, um, I have a ton of respect for my dad. That is the one thing, the tools and the keeping a clean shop. He'll keep, keep a clean farm. Um, the tractors are clean and in great working condition. The maintenance he keeps on it's great. The maintenance we keep up on the equipment is great. Um, we don't try to rig up much stuff if stuff's broken we try to get it fixed and fixed right uh, because it's just gonna lead to more problems if you don't uh, as far as the clean shop goes though and putting tools away it's always something um, like I said I got a ton of respect for my dad uh, both my dad and my mom are from New Jersey I'll do this real I'll do a little side note real quick both my parents are from New Jersey um, my grandfather would be my dad's dad died when my dad was 13. They had a farm. Uh, my dad was the only boy and he had an older sister and two younger sisters. And he died when my dad was 13. My dad actually tells a story. Um, they were standing at the edge of the barn looking out at the field and he said, you know, you're getting older. I'm going to buy you an Alice Chalmers uh, D15. They had a D17 was their biggest tractor. And he said, I'm going to buy you a, a D15 and the two of us are going to plow this whole farm in a week and my dad thought oh my god that's so cool and not too soon after that uh, my grandfather died it was 1963 I believe so um, my dad tells me um, it's kind of sad as a kid you don't really ask too many questions about that kind of stuff and then hopefully when you're a little older and you start caring about that stuff hopefully you can get that information from your parents and your grandparents before because I have horrible uh, Alzheimer's on both sides of my family and both my grandparents or my grandmas right now are not have that but so best advice I can give to you uh, talk to your parents talk to your grandparents and get those old stories because um, you'll end up cherishing them as you get older anyway um, so my dad worked on a ton of different farms down in New Jersey and um, Went to college, got a bachelor's degree in business, came back. My grandpa, the guy, my grandma got remarried. Uh, the guy I knew was grandpa. You be careful. You don't hammer that. Oh my God, that boy. Um, the guy I knew his grandfather told me uh, my dad was about to graduate. He ran into the one farmer down the road and he said, you know, he told him to tell my dad that his job was waiting for him. And he said, well, he's going to graduate, so he probably won't want to. Um, come work on the farm we'll probably be looking for a full-time job but he told my dad anyway my dad's eyes lit right up uh, he ended up working that summer for that man again he ended up um, working on a farm and uh, milking cows and doing the work for this guy um, him and my mom got married he bought a couple cows of his own and uh, decided he wanted to have his own farm and they moved up my mom had a cousin that lives 
lived. It doesn't live up there anymore, but lived a little ways up up the road from here, I think. I think that's how the story goes. Anyway, um, they told my parents about this place, that they moved up here in 1976, and the rest is history. There was a barn. There was a barn. There was two wooden silos out front. And there was a little two-bay garage right here. And my dad went through and gutted to put it all new stalls in. Um, over this is just all over time. In the in the that amount of time's been up there, he turned that two bay garage into a heifer shed. He um, put up the seal store silo. I call them harvesters. I'm sorry in past videos, everybody, but they are seal store silos. That's why they had the landing um, silo and loaders in them. Took down the old wooden silo. Actually, we have one. The tongue and groove board is still over here and built the heifer shed, redid the heifer shed last summer, and put up this structure. Um, the green bins, I mean, he's done, he's done a lot for basically starting out from scratch, so I respect him like crazy and uh, everything he's done in his lifetime. So anyway, so that was a side note. Uh, my, my mom, I'll just finish this up, a little family history up real quick. My mom, grew up on a farm she um, down the road from my dad and the farm she grew up on is still in my family and is still operational today in New Jersey it is my uncle's farm so I want to get down there at some point and uh, get a tour not really a huge tour I'd like to show you guys some of his tractors excuse me he's got he's got a couple John Deere's but he's got mostly Ford's um, and this is before the New Holland case merger. This is when they were just Fords. He's got a TW15 with uh, um, original, uh, let me think. I think. He's got probably just in the 3,000 hours. It's like a, either an 88 or an 89. I'll have to ask him. But it's a really nice tractor, and I'll have to get down and get some video of that. Finished but, up doing a corn harvest this fall, or that was probably winter by the time we finished the corn, uh, the corn harvest. But, um... I was asking people to drop uh, comments below about what cameras they use and I was starting my research on what camera I wanted because I used my cell phone and I want to get away from that. Uh, it was draining my battery and it was just, it would drain my battery because I had to have the camera app open all the time and as soon as my battery was drained then uh, everybody would start calling me and it was just turning into a nightmare so I wanted to do something else. Um, I would go online or on YouTube and I would research uh, cameras for vloggers and it was somewhat helpful. Um, it would give me some ideas of what direction to kind of look into but most of them if you just look for vloggers it's kind of like what I'm doing right now. It's just sitting and talking and that's not really what we do. Um, you're out in the tractor, uh, things are dusty, dirty, bumping around and I needed something to stand up. So uh, that's why I, there was nothing that said like what farmers use. So I kind of wanted to see what other kind of farmers use. So I figured I'd make a video. Hopefully it would help out some of you who want to look at getting something else or, you know, or just to say, you know, say what you use. That way other people can get an idea if they're interested in what I use, what other people use and what works for them. So that's why I wanted to make this video and uh, yeah, show you what, what we use here or what I use for my channel. So when I started YouTube, I started just taking videos with my Samsung S Galaxy 7. I would open the camera and if I took a video like this, I found out it would have the two black lines when I uploaded. So I'd always have to go like this. So. I would start taking a video and then I'd hit this pause button, nice and easy. I'd hit this pause button and then when I would, I'd do some, set it down, do some work and then I'd go start recording again. The only problem with doing that, it drained my battery. Um, I'd be working and uh, my phone would be dead. And then my dad would try to call me or someone would try to call me and so I said I want to get away from using my phone so one of the cameras I bought was this little guy right here this is a Nikon key mission 80 and I didn't read it too well um, if you turn it on 
It's a nice camera, don't get me wrong. I thought it had a zoom, and it didn't. That's what I wanted, was something with a zoom. And I actually did shoot a video. There's a video on my channel about our heifer shed, and I shot it with this right here. Um, I tried shooting a video on the New York State Farm Show, and I used this because, let me turn this off a second. If you look at the cell phone, it's extremely small. It's extremely thin. It fits right in your pocket, no problem. So. I thought this would be perfect. So uh, I held this up, I took a whole bunch of footage with this, and when I put it on my computer to kind of put the videos together, it didn't, uh, there was no sound to it, it was kind of sped up, I know there was something wrong. My computer is not letting me use the Nikon for some reason, I don't know. So, um, I do like it, like I said, turn it on, it's touchscreen. there's this switch right here that goes from video to picture. Um, you can reverse it. Uh, this right here, and it's like a cell phone, and here I am taking a video for YouTube. How about that? Um, but anyway, it's a neat little camera, and I just hit it again. It is touchscreen. Right here is the speaker, so you want to make sure you don't cover that up. The only problem is when I'm holding it like this, sometimes my finger kind of zooms up and gets in the shot. But other than that, it's a great camera, great little camera. Um, like I said, I wanted to get away from using my cell phone, and uh, so this Christmas, let me just show you what I got. So this Christmas, I got the GoPro Hero Session. Um, I was looking at it, and I'm like, well, how do you even use this? And I found out you have to download the GoPro app to your phone, and you can use your phone to see what you're looking at and i'm thinking i don't know i don't know if i'll ever use this what i ended up buying with it comes with it comes with this part right here this is what's sitting on top of the case that you set it in so what i did is i bought this selfie stick that also turns into a tripod all right hang on a second let me put this together here button on top where is it where is it where is it gotta find it at some point it's a cube so set it back a little bit okay so you can set it as a tripod basically i hold it like this i never use the app on my phone to see what i'm shooting that's why some of the videos i do pretty well with it but a lot of times i'm kind of off a little bit but this is how i shoot my videos now I got the um, selfie stick at Best Buy, I think it was 30 bucks. It goes right in here and you put this little bolt through it and this is it. This is how I shoot my videos and it seems to work pretty good. So as far as using the session, I, as far as quality wise, I mean you guys can be the judge of it. So far I really like it, I think it works great. Um, I have no complaints with it. That's the only complaint I have uh, is number one, no zoom, and number two, I can't see what I'm doing because I really, I live out in the country. I live in country, country, where you don't get the best cell phone service. So usually I can't bring up the app. I can bring it up and I can, after I record it, I can see what I've recorded, but as far as controlling, I can't control it with my phone. I don't have enough service for it, so. Um, Plus, I don't want to use the battery on my phone. So anyway, um, I uh, I do like this GoPro, and I I think if the session records good, I think the I thought about getting the Hero Five. Um, I know the Hero Six uh, that just came out does have zoom. However, what you have to do because I've watched videos on it on YouTube. That's what I did. I went to YouTube and I started researching all this stuff because I went through a, a ton of different things. Uh, first, I was looking at GoPro, and a lot of people. I asked for uh, suggestions. A lot of people said go with a GoPro. Um, so then I was all GoPro, and I'm researching that, but it didn't have Zoom. So then I looked at um, what I forgot what they're called, but it could be cameras, or you can use them as video cameras too. And let me see what it's called. Let me just Google it quick because. I've and it was the the tough camera, the tough man camera, tough person camera, whatever you want to call it. But that is what I was looking at. Hey, 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 hey. Don't mess around with those doors. Um, this was the camera. You could drop it. It was supposed to stand up. 
to drops and be tough and take really nice video. So I YouTube the TG5 to kind of see people using it and see how the footage looked. The footage looked amazing. It really did. Here was the one problem. Um, when they zoomed in, I would say Oculus TG, I'm butchering the name, I'm sorry, but TG5, and I would type zoom, and there would be someone zooming in on it, and you would hear a mechanical noise when they zoomed in and zoomed out, and I'm like, I don't know. It's probably not a big deal, but to me, it bugged me, and I'm like, I don't know, and it would bug me every time I did a video and used it, so... Uh, another one I looked at was a Nikon Coolpix something 300. I looked at that one, and I think a Panasonic, and they all did the same thing. All different kinds of sounds, but all made some kind of sound when you zoomed in and out. The only one that I think didn't was the, uh, and I don't know for sure, but the Canon, I think they call it ELF, E-L-P-F, the ELF 360. That looked like a really nice camera. What? What, man? You going for a ride? Get your feet off that. What are you doing? You made it dirty now. Stop. Um, the ELF 360, I don't know if that made a noise while zooming, so I was going to take a look at that. That looked like a pretty nice camera, but I had already gotten the GoPro. Just wait, please. Patience, my boy. Patience. You're like... You need you're like a bad doctor. You got no patience. Anyway, um, so uh, the only other thing that I've been looking at besides the, um, <gasps> uh, I know life's rough. The only thing that I've been looking at besides the, um, <laughs> you done? Okay. Besides the GoPro Hero 5. The other one I was looking at is um, a Sony Handycam. Um, I was kind of messing around with this small. I like how you can... Patience, Daddy. Daddy's got tons of patience. I deal with you. Are you kidding me? I got tons of patience. And you test them. So... I lost my I lost my mind is what I lost. Huh. Lost my patience? I don't think so. Here, I'll help you get down. Come here. Oh, big guy. So, um, I hope this was helpful. Like I said, I, I YouTubed a ton of videos, and most of the videos I saw on YouTube were of vlogs. Just uh, people, which is great. I mean, they had an amazing footage, and they were great, helpful with um, how to get the camera set up and everything. But um, I wasn't going to do videos where I'm just kind of sitting in a room or sitting at a desk um, talking. I was going to be out in the field and I wanted cameras that were going to stand up to dust and stand up to um, bouncing around in a tractor and being down at the barn. So um, if anybody, hopefully this was helpful. Um, GoPro has been um, great. Like I said, GoPro has been great. The only thing I wish the GoPro had was a zoom. And uh, I, I know I touched on it, but I did YouTube. I saw on Amazon that the Hero 6 had a zoom. I got all excited. So I went and uh, YouTubed it, and it does have a zoom. The new Hero 6 does have a zoom. However, you can't zoom while recording. You have to pick an image, stop recording, zoom in on it, and start recording again. And when you're done, stop recording and zoom out. Um, zoom out. So, I was thinking, nah, that's all right. Um, but anyway, like I said, I hope this was helpful to somebody. Um, if you're on a farm or heavy construction or doing a lot of that kind of work and a lot of equipment type work and you want to do YouTube videos and you don't want to use your cell phone, you want to use some kind of camera, um, and you want to know what other people are using, I tried doing farming vlogs and there really wasn't many things for cameras out there so uh, I hope this is helpful to some people and if you guys know of better cameras or anything drop a comment below and let me know because I'm always thinking like I said I like this GoPro Hero session but I'm always looking at other stuff and seeing what else I could use you're a pain in the butt you know that better catch your nose it's running <gasps> <laughs> All right, so we're going to end this video because...
he's getting to catch it he's getting um restless so anyway thanks for watching the video i hope it was helpful drop me a comment below hit that subscribe button if you haven't already drop me a message on instagram and say hello uh, mike p7810 don't forget to hit that thumbs up thumbs up button and uh i will see you guys later